So I'm back on the road in Halifax. I absolutely love it here. Uh, I've done food festivals here before, so whenever I have a chance to come back, I'm all over that opportunity. I'm on my way to the Ostrich Club in Halifax to see Chef Lachlan. But before that, I can see his supplier, Sober Island Oysters. I'm gonna meet Trevor, who knows everything there is to know about sustainability when it comes to oyster farming. But then once the oysters are out of the water, he's all about innovation and figuring out the most efficient ways to get those oysters to market. A big shout out goes to our partners at Chevrolet for sponsoring this video. I am driving the 2019 Chevrolet Silverado LTZ. It's completely chromed out. It's the perfect truck for work and play and everything in between. Morning, Trevor. Morning, how you doing? Oh, I'm fantastic, sir. How are you? Good, glad you made it. Thank you for having me out here. Thanks for coming. Trevor, Sober Island Oysters, what a beautiful spot to just call this your, your home and your office. Like, this is unbelievable. How long have you been doing this for? We started the firm, the idea was 2005. My father's roots here is on Sober Island. Okay. And at that time, this body of water was stagnant to the ocean. And then in the mid 90s, it blew an opening through the Cobble Beach and basically flushed this body of water out. And right through there, eh? Yep. Oh, yep. wow. Over the 2004 year, we started finding wild oysters attached to the rocks. So yeah. about five years of growing and understanding and learning. figuring out and learning and relearning probably. Yes, yeah, multiple relearnings, yeah. <laughs> yeah, huge learning curve. And then we started putting in uh, a million oysters each year, basically. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's resilient of you to say, you know, this is almost a, a seven, eight year window where you're just learning. There was always that, that drive to, to, to get out there and grow these oysters. And then it just kind of all fell into place and meeting a lot of chefs and learning their passion and what they do. Uh, as an oyster lover myself, this feels like as local as it can get. Like there, there they are, right yes. there. Oh yeah, no, it's a rock throw away. Yeah. <laughs> Oyster farming and a lot of aquaculture is considered a sustainable product or a sustainable operation. Oysters themselves, we can basically not leave the island and just keep producing oysters just uh, with this body of water. It, it's, a, it's a perfect feeding system for our shellfish. Well, I gotta tell you, I've never talked so much about oysters without eating one immediately after. So let's start getting in the water. I wanna see your day to day, how it works and uh, yeah, let's chuck some oysters after. Perfect, yeah. No, let's go, uh, Lead let's go the way, gear it up. Hey Matt, here I got, got some gear here for you. We're oh, gonna get so uh, in the water. Here's your pants. It's, it's okay, they're a little loose. loose. It's Probably okay. not your size. Yeah. It'll work. Not many things are, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, okay, well I'm ready to go. You ready to go? You look much better than I do though. You look, you look like you I know belong. what you're doing. Ah, you look exactly the same, yeah. there you go. <laughs> I'm walking funny. Wait till you get in the side of the bucket, then you'll then you're gonna feel funny. Okay. <laughs> yeah, toss her up on the wharf. All right, Matt, we're just gonna head right up to the opening there, where we get flushed uh, daily from the Atlantic Ocean. I love it. All okay. right. We'll see you there. I'm just gonna man the front of this boat like I know what I'm doing. <laughs> enjoy the scenes. Enjoy the scenes. Over yonder. <laughs> Wow, look at that. And that's ocean coming in through this, you're saying? That's what makes it all happen. Every tide flushed out this body of water from being stagnant. That's the prized possession right there, is that flow of water. It, it takes the, it takes the seawater, a little bit of rain and sunshine, and that will produce algae blooms. Which is what the oysters feed off of. They feed off plankton and algae, yeah. And then just tapping into the earth from there. That's it, yeah, <laughs> and let Mother Nature uh, Bring us a good quality oyster. We're gonna go over and get hooked up on the Oyster Grow lines. And I'm gonna show you what we do every uh, basically 15 days. We'll flip the entire firm and let the oyster grows bake in the sun for 24 hours. Come back the next day and reflip back over and let them start growing and eating again. A little sun tanning. Yeah, that's it, yeah. yeah well. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna jump in first, Matt, and grab a hold of this line. But... Come on in. Okay, so Matt, we're both gonna get our hands, get, get one hand in the cage. One hand in the cage, okay. One hand kind of, well, one hand kind of under the cage. Yep. And we're gonna go down a little bit in the water. And go up. Oh! oh. No, it's all right. Fail. No, that's Fail first, attempt. first attempt. My legs are so I got wet. Right now. I got wet. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, that's like. like <laughs> and we flip that, like, boom, boom, boom. And then. So I'm slowing you down, basically. Yeah, yeah, very well. <laughs> Everyone, you gotta start somewhere. All right, All right so ready? One, Just go. Two, three. That's it. Definitely easier that way. Oh, 100%. Yeah. No. And, uh, <laughs> All right, Matt. So yes, here we are on, uh, our, on our floating bag section. And typically all summer long, every 15 days, the same as up at the Oyster Grove for the flipping, we'll come along down the line and we'll continuously flip these oyster bags. Uh, we'll also give the bags a beat just in case there's a mussel in there holding that one oyster or two oysters and sometimes 10 oysters out of the water. Darn mussels. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, no, we're going to actually bring these in right now uh, okay. and uh, show you some of the harvesting and calling procedures and, uh, and get into eating some. Cool. Yeah. Ah. What we love to see with our oysters. Beautiful. We're kind of known for the green oyster and we're going to try as hard as we can to remain that way. I'm just going to grab this last one, Matt, and that yes, should sir. be, I, there's probably 175 per bag, so I don't think you're going to eat more than 700, are you? Or, Is that a challenge? I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Could be. <laughs> Kind of give it a little open. Get her up vertical. And there you go. All right, well, let's get uh, the oysters uh, into the crates and we'll get the crates loaded on the truck and we'll get up to the plant. Teal. Well, you never tried an oyster yet. I've, I've tried oysters, just right. not, not one of yours. So not a sober on that. Okay, well here, grab a couple out of here. I'll be honest, when I got here, all I could think about was the quantity of oysters I, I was gonna eat. And now after seeing how much work goes into that and then hearing you talk about the time you've spent, the decade and a half of cultivating this point, I wanna cherish each and every shuck. Cheers, Matt. To oysters. Yes, and so brown. Mm, very tasty. Oh, man. <laughs> so good. You know what? I take back what I said about a few minutes ago. Let's crush this whole thing. Yeah. <laughs> it could be done. It can be done. <laughs> All right, Matt. Well, let's, uh, let's take these up to the processing plant and uh, we'll run these through the machine and we'll show you how that uh, new innovative machine works. Whoa, whoa, we're not eating all these? I thought that was, uh, we'll take I barely the, put a dent in this. Little. <laughs> we'll take the better and the bigger ones that are coming off that machine. Amazing. We'll eat some more up there. Awesome, let's all do right. that. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I love this truck. All right, Matt, before we start getting this going, I'm gonna give you a little rundown how it works. So the, the idea is uh, that it can, t it can do 5,000 oysters an hour. And we first start off, we'll throw the oysters in the hopper in, in, in a mass volume. And as they move through, they're slowly spreading out. And uh, then they come up and drop down to our washer rack. And uh, we will work them as well as when they're coming up, you'll pick some mussels out sure. or a dead oyster, you'll be fine. So yeah, yeah, the mussels are always there. And uh, then they'll go drop into our incline. And as they're going up the incline, then they're really spreading out to about three, four oysters, a little tray. Then they'll drop down to our singleizer, which is just a long tube spinning. And it will individualize the oysters in a line, in a strip. It'll hit the accelerator belt, shoot it through the brush and onto the camera belt. And then that camera will take a picture of every oyster and we'll program the parameters of the individual shoots that will put bins up and uh, whatever size we set on each shoot, that oyster will pop down that bin. 
the whole thing is impressive. I'm most impressed by the fact that it's able to analyze and sort. Yes. Immediately. This machine takes that guesswork out for new people coming on the front. Totally, totally. Even guys that aren't shocking all the time. Well, it's literally that element of human error that can allow things to affect your quality. That was the coolest thing I've ever seen. We talk about sustainable in the water, the innovation kind of meeting in the middle. It's like you need both sides to have the most productive oyster farm. Like it's amazing. Sir, thank you so much You're for very all of your knowledge. This was amazing. I can't wait to eat your oysters at the bar and with respect and pride. No, thanks for coming. Amazing. But I got one more thing for you to do. Deal. Just need, need you to drop some oysters off to the Oysters Club tonight. Oh, amazing. And, uh, and so you guys can continue to uh, be part of Sober Island Oysters. You know what? I'm happy to uh, close the gap there. There you go. All right, you have a good night. Thank you. Ciao, See brother. You. See you later. I'm fantastic, Rachel. How are you? Awesome. I'm great. Thanks for having me here today. I almost ate all of those oysters on the drive-in. Right? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> those oysters are some of the best that I've ever had. I absolutely love them. We try and get them in all our restaurants. From the get-go, sustainable fish and shellfish and seafood has always been part of your identity here, I'm assuming? It is, yeah. yeah. I mean, and it, 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 we try to do it in all of our restaurants. I mean, it's local, small producers. We do the same with our wines and our beverage program. It only makes sense. Like it's great to support your communities and it's great to support your farmers and all of that is so important. But at the end of the day, it just tastes better. Sure. You know, it came out of the ground or came out of the water yesterday, as opposed to something off, coming off a container ship. Sure. That was been on there for two weeks. Welcome chef. Thanks so much. Hi hey, chef. How are you? Fantastic. Beautiful. You got it. A couple of different preparations of Sober Island oysters, just raw and half shell, baked with our house-made miso glaze. Beautiful. We serve the raw with a ginger mignonette, a fermented chili sauce, and a homemade cocktail sauce. So we feel like it's the perfect foil for um, the Sober Island oyster, which I mean to us is kind of the, the quintessential oyster. It's got the, the perfect meatiness and brininess, and it just goes so well with the miso. I love talking to people that get that. You know what I mean? Like when I tell someone, they're like, oh, how'd you like that ocean? I'm like, oh, so perfectly briny. They're like, what? Yeah. What do you mean? It's like, no, 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 this is a, po a positive. I promise. This is 100%. a good thing. That's, uh, it's such a nice thing, you know, and, and it's very well balanced oyster. It's just like subtle. Yeah. And then what have you prepared over here? Okay, so this is another dish uh, that's on the menu currently. Um, and it also highlights in, in a subtle way, uh, Sober Island oysters. So it's a grilled halibut, you grill it over coals, um, served with local Hakurai turnip, uh, salt pork vinaigrette, and then a Sober Island oyster and uh, wild nettle emulsion. That is so cool. Yeah. That is so cool. definitely have a, a responsibility nowadays to support a culture that sure. is sustainable and feeding good ethical food to uh, all our all our guests. That's amazing. I want to thank you all for having me here today. This was amazing. It's our pleasure. Thanks for I've coming. literally seen the full life cycle. So it ends uh, right here, which is the best way possible. Awesome. Cheers. 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 Thank you. Well, I had the most amazing day ever. It started on the farm, on the water, and ended in the city at the restaurant. Thank you so much for watching. A big thank you to Chevrolet for sponsoring this video. Make sure to like, subscribe to the channel, and watch all the episodes of Truck to Table.